Okay, in section 7.4 of the Go Math, it's talking about multiplying fractions and then comparing them. Now it does it in a different way where at the end it will say 5 times 1 third equals something will be blank 1 third. Now it's a little confusing, but what they're looking for in this blank is they're looking for greater than, less than, or equal to. So what they're really asking is the answer to this Will it be greater than, less than, or equal to, and then one-third in this question? So the first step in these cases, you're going to need to just multiply. Now if you're multiplying a whole number, it's very easy. The first thing you do, I lift it up, and I put a 1 under it. Because as a fraction, 5 groups of 1 just gives you 5 total. Then you do the easy multiply straight across. 5 times 1 is 5. 1 times 3 is 3. Now this gives you an improper fraction. Now the first thing I've taught my students is if you notice the top number is bigger than the smaller, that means you have more than you need to get one group of three. Okay? You can either make it into a mixed number, but at this point you actually can find your answer. Since there's enough for a whole group, three goes into five once, you would have two left over out of groups of three, one and two thirds. We know one is bigger than one-third, because that's not even one whole. This one's a whole and a little bit more. So we know this one is going to be bigger. Alright, this next one is very easy. You have six-elevenths times one will be blank six-eleven. Once again, in the blank, we're looking for greater than, less than, or equal to. Anything times one equals itself. So this one's pretty easy to say 611 times 1 is going to be 611. If you want to, you can put a 1 under it, multiply straight across, you get the same answer. It just takes you a little longer. So what it's wondering is 611 will be greater than, less than, or equal to 611. Well, they're the exact same. That means they're equal. Okay, this next one's a little bit tricky. The first thing that you can notice is 7 groups of 7, or 7 sevenths, is the same as 1. If you need 7 for a whole group and you have 7, that means you have just one whole group. So you can change that to a 1. Then you have 1 six times 1, which will give you the same thing. Okay, if you multiply anything by 1, you get your original answer, which is 1 six. Then it wants to know which is bigger, 1 six or 1. Well, obviously, as a fraction, it's less than 1. That's what makes it a fraction. So we know that's smaller or less than 1. So 1 sixth is less than 1. All right, here's just a regular one. In this case, they want to know what 4 times 3 fifths, if that's greater than, less than, or equal to 3 fifths. In this case, there's no tricks. We don't have any times 1s. So we're actually just going to solve this one. First thing I'm going to do is put a 1 under the 4. Multiply straight across. 4 times 3 is 12. 1 times 5 is 5. At this point, like I said before, the top number is bigger than the, small, the bottom number. That means if we need 5 to make a group, we have more than one group. 5 goes into 12 twice, with 2 left over. As a mixed number, it's that. So if we compare 2 and 2 fifths to 3 fifths, we know because this has two whole numbers, just by looking at that, we know it's much bigger. So 2 and 2 fifths is greater than 3 fifths.